Hi there and welcome back. My name is David Nachman and I'm one of the managing attorneys at the NPZ Law Group, Nachman Fawani Zemochek. We have offices located in Ridgewood, New Jersey. We also have an office located in New York City. We also have an office, uh, an affiliated office in Mumbai, India, and we also have an affiliated office in Canada. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about an interesting um, concept which came into the law several years ago, and it's called uh, AC21, which stands for the American Competitiveness in the 21st Century Act, uh, AC21 Section 106 Mobility. Uh, often it's referred to as a portability provision, but essentially what this does is it allows an individual to take personal possession of the green card process. So what do I mean by that? Well, generally, the green card process belongs to an employer. The employer is the sponsor. And um, the way that that works is the employer signs all the paperwork and essentially is the sponsor of the employee on a going forward basis. So for the PERM process, for the PERM labor certification process, which is the procedure for obtaining the green card, where you're proving that there are no able, willing, and qualified U.S. workers who can take the job. What happens is that the employer signs all the papers and is essentially sponsoring the employee. So what AC21 did is, in Section 106C, is if you meet certain conditions, and uh, as long as those conditions are met, what essentially happens is that the PERM labor certification process, the uh, property interest, if you will, in that process reverts from the employer to the employee. And then the employee is able to pursue the green card independent of the original sponsoring employer. So what are those conditions? The first condition that needs to be satisfied, of course, is that the PERM application before the uh, U.S. Department of Labor, which is the ETA 9089, needs to be approved. So number one, approval of a PERM application. Number two, the form I-140, petition for an immigrant worker, needs to be approved okay, by the employer. So the employer has to have an approved PERM, there has to be an approved I-140, and then the adjustment of status application, the I-485, has to be filed and pending for 180 days. And, there's one more condition, when the employee moves to a new position with a new employer, or it could be self-employment, it has to be in what's considered to be the same or similar occupation. And that's where the issue gets a little dicey, because we, as lawyers, have to work with our clients who are porting or being mobile to a new position to be able to prove that the position is in the same or similar occupation. And what I mean by that is, for example, let's say we have an individual who's in the information technologies field, and they're being sponsored by XYZ Company. XYZ Company did the PERM application. The PERM application is approved. The I-140 has been approved. An RFE was issued in that case where there was a question about whether or not that company, XYZ Company, had the ability to pay. They submitted their tax returns and proved they did, in fact, have the ability to pay the federally mandated prevailing wage it was specified in the original PERM application. Finally, the individual, let's assume that they were not from India or China, which, which uh, unfortunately have significant backlogs, uh, which are reported on a monthly basis in the Visa Bulletin, but let's assume for the sake of argument that the case is current and it's an EB2 case. If the case is current, then immediately an adjustment of status application on an I-485 can be filed. Once that's filed and pending for 180 days, once that 180 day mark passes, then a property right does revert to the individual for whom that labor certification application has been done as long as they're moving to a position in the same or similar occupation. So again, coming back to the fact that it's IT. If an individual is in the information technologies field and they're going to a, a college, let's say a community college, to teach in information technologies. Is that considered to be same or similar? I would argue that it is in fact considered to be same or similar. 
Let's say the individual moves to their own corporation and they become a consultant in the information technologies field. Is that in and of itself. Does that make it same or similar occupation? Of course, our argument would be that it is. And what we would do to buttress the argument is that we would probably turn to the Dictionary of Occupational Titles, the Occupational Outlook Handbook, or ONET, to show the USCIS, who would ultimately have the question, when and if the individual were called for an interview on, let's say, the 485, they would say, well, look, you know, we see your 485 here, your adjustment application, but shouldn't you be working for company XYZ, um, XYZ? And let's say at that point the individual is working for company ABC. So what we would want to do is we would want to show that ABC has that individual in a similar occupational classification as specified under ONET, the Occupational Outlook Handbook, or the Dictionary of Occupational Titles. So that's a glimpse at this very complicated issue of what we call um, mobility and uh, under AC21. And it's a very powerful tool also for other reasons, which um, have to do with the ability for uh, employers to modify positions that employees originally were sponsored on for the perms um, later on if the situation within their organization has changed. And we work very closely with HR managers to be able to use those mobility provisions to allow individuals to take up different, different positions within the same organization where, let's say, a, um, uh, where a PERM application is done. So thanks very much for joining us for that quick bit on um, AC21, Section 106C. Uh, I hope you'll join us for some additional information about business immigration and family-based immigration that we're going to bring to you on a regular basis. Thanks very much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye now.